Hello and welcome to today's video. Uh, we are on Pagan Online. Uh, you may know the uh, developer as Wargaming.net, who are uh, probably most famous for World of Tanks. Um, but this is their uh, Diablo-esque uh, game. So we're going to jump into the first campaign mission and uh, have a little look and see how it plays. So. Let's see, where are we first? Act 1, the Pantheon. Battle. Oh, I'm not in here now. Game looks very nice. Uh, very pretty. Uh, I'm running on medium graphics. Uh, I'll see once I get in if I can turn the graphics up or not. Uh, but I do want to capture 60 FPS and my computer isn't the most powerful so We'll see if we can hold a steady 60 here. So far so good. Welcome to Igman, the greatest of mountains. A living barrier against the demons of the Shroud. The crucial Igman stronghold is being overrun by demons as we speak. If it falls, we all fall with it. Somewhere within its walls lies an artifact of great power. My hope is that it is a weapon left by the gods before they disappeared. It is up to you to find out. Okay. Alright, so yeah, we're on medium graphics running at a steady 60 FPS. Um, now unlike Diablo where you click to go places, this game actually uses WASD to move about and then you use your mouse for uh, your different powers and stuff. As you can see uh, at the little power bar at the bottom. Um, so yeah, let's go into the options, have a little look. So graphics, just your standard graphics, audio, and there's the controls. So pretty simple, uh, which is good. Yeah, let, let's try turning graphics up to high. Fly. Zoom. Okay. All right, we're still at 60, so we'll, we'll keep it at this. So this is good. Oh, hello. For Caradol, for the gods. So I'm playing as a berserker character. Which basically berserking. Berserker's gonna berserk. Okay, so must not. Uh oh. Do not mess with the king. Oh, leveled up. So as you can see, this all you have. <laughs> it's pretty similar to uh, Diablo in the sense of it's just whack things. Okay, hero inventory, so we got a little charm of some kind. Where is it? Is it? Big charm. Yes. So, let's put that up. That'll improve us a little bit. Oh, hello. Thanks for joining the fight, stranger. Usually, it is up to the Vetch Nagarda, the Igman Guard, to protect the stronghold. But at this desperate hour, even us blacksmiths must fight. Oh, I love that accent. A new wave of attackers. Into the fray! Hey! The Vechna Garda have been the stalwart defenders of Igman since the keep was built. They fought off numerous attacks by the demons and were led by King Vukashin himself against the great dragon of the Shroud. So, I hope that this gets multiplayer. At the minute, it is just single player. Um, so, I think it would benefit from a multiplayer option. Final wave. Oh yeah, I have a gun as well. Yeah. 
gold. Oh, what's this? Bone. More gold. Did we get some upgrades? What is this? Uh, it's a charm. Where does this go? Oh, around her neck, of course. Uh, yeah, so that adds some more armor rating to us. Consumables. Strength. Okay, so these must be for all our equipment. Captured lighting. Lightning, sorry. Got some bone as well. Okay, so there is crafting as well. That's cool. Yeah, so we'll just have to find gear and get a build going. But if you have played Diablo, like you'll be very familiar with these types of games. Uh, press R to interact. Ah, it was some fight. We sure smashed those uglies good, but we're far from safe. Something tells me this is the beginning of the fourth war with the Shroud. Grim times. Ah, either way, thank you for your help, friend. Okay. Oh. Behold, a portal stone, part of the heavens, made manifest. It will take you back to Pantheon, where your body and soul can rejuvenate. I shall wait for you there. Okay. Right. Ash crossbows. So, I can actually change my weapon out. The uh, used by the royal assassin. Okay, so we can't because we're the juggernaut. Yeah, that makes sense. Why would you give a juggernaut a bow? Battle complete. Hey, okay, so uh, I have no idea what this is. Some kind of leaderboards. Might two nine nine. My might is quite low compared to these guys. Um, so yeah, continue. Lots of nice artwork. Right, uh, Pantheon health potions, quick bar, click the re icon to refill the potions for a small amount of gold. Uh, Pantheon hero shards, quick bar icon shows the portrait of the hero, you gather the most hero shards for... Over and over these will show the list of the three heroes with the most shards. Click the icon to open the hero forge. You can only spend so much time in the mortal realm before you have to return to Pantheon and replenish your power. The hero forge is a place where all the soul shards converge. It's the place a hero of your stature can use to prepare for battle. Hero forge. Okay, so these are the other heroes. We have Anya. Um, there's three you can choose at the start. Uh, basically, this guy who I chose because I like the Berserker abilities. Um, he was the first one. Uh, and then you also have Anya. Uh, also, East Stock. So these three you can choose. Um, so these here are the ones that you have to unlock. So I haven't actually seen these yet. So there's Morok. Bukian. Valeria. Who is someone that I would like. Uh, oh, Demir actually has a bear. And then Masha. Hey. Right. Well, we're just gonna have to Something powerful is hidden in Igman. Perhaps some of the soldiers stationed there know more of its location. The defenders of Igman still need your help, hero. You should go to their aid. Alright, let us continue on to the next Champion mission. Ognia's bravery. Quick 
to continue. I'm back, and I am angry. Oh. Where'd you go? <laughs> no matter. It's good to have you here. I have a feeling these attacks are not random. In fact, I think I know why the demons are here. At the heart of Eegman's stronghold lies a seemingly endless pit. It was there since the keep was built. Most people just accept it as one of the many oddities of the place. But I know better. We blacksmiths have always known it to be the location of a mythic artifact. You there. Captain Mita Snaggerone wants to talk to you. Okay. A lot of people here. Well met, friend. Since you decided to join us, we should discuss our defenses. I'm afraid these attacks are just the beginning of a full-scale invasion. Oh, no. Another assault so soon. My men and I will hold the Eastern Wall. You and Ognya head to the upper floor and stop them from striking the rear. Very well. I think I know what these beasts are after. Quickly, follow me. Follow me. There is a dodge mechanic. Oh yeah, it's shift. Oh. I love that. Alright. Oh, we got another Steel Rivera. Oh, and a Steel Ward. Uh, let's see. We can stick that on. And that. Uh, that's definitely putting our health back up. Uh, one option I would like to turn off, though, is my health. Which you can turn off. So, set up my uh, auto-pick health potions. So now my health isn't floating over my head. Plenty of options in the game. the fun begins isn't it oh they're not dead yet a stone axe no is that a better weapon Let's see or are they both the same uh, the one I've equipped now it does 14 to 26. Yeah, so it is slightly better. Uh, what does that do? 61, 56, 56. Um, yeah, that's fine. It does slightly more um, healthy stuff. What was that? Some construction parts, I'm guessing. Don't exactly know what these are yet. But I'm guessing they'll be used at the uh, main base or something they got there. So, onwards to the next enemies. Oh, oh. Oh, she's dead. Oh, 
got to use them heals. Another stone axe. It's uh, the same, but I might as well pick it up. Difference between that and this. Both the same. Placing this item will cause the falling chains of evasion, rating minus six. Oh, okay, so better armor. Okay. That's good. They're both the same. Right. Was uh, interesting. Don't mourn your new friend yet, hero. The power of Pantheon is a mystical one, and as its champion, you serve as a beacon to the worthy souls of those who die near you. Ognia was brought back to serve just like you. She's already here. In fact, she wants to talk to you urgently. She's alive? Dying was a strange experience, but waking up here is something else entirely. I still can't believe it. Sorry I wasn't of more help down there, but perhaps I can aid you in a different way. I don't think those demons attacked the stronghold by accident. Nor do I think that old man sent you there without good reason. As I said, there is an endless pit in the stronghold. The secret of the pit was a tale told amongst blacksmiths for generations. The pit holds the most powerful tool to prepare us for the upcoming war. The Drevna Kutia. Drevna! I felt the Kutia was near, but I dared not hope. Hero, this could be the one thing that can turn the tide. It can also be our downfall if we don't get to it before the demons. Quickly now, I shall accompany you to the pit. We must retrieve the Kutia. Hey. Okay. Go get the Kutia. So, yeah, this is crafting, and so. It's. I. This is like very similar to Diablo, uh, with its like main base and stuff. All right, what's the next one? I know the arcane craft box. There's uh, quite a few axes. Eight axes. Uh, I'm guessing there's gonna be quite a few missions in one. So, arcane craft box. So this is what we need for crafting. We want to get some powerful weapons. The Kutia was given to us by the gods themselves, which means it will take powerful magic to get to it. Magic that will surely draw the attention of the demons. We have one shot at this hero. You must guard me until my chance extract the Kutia from the pit. Okay. This guy has an E ability that goes into 
spin mode. But I haven't unlocked it yet. Do not mess with the king. Need to stay out of them. left old man this is not how it is supposed to end they're not even worried about the old man Oh, it's getting bored now. Oh, hello. I must not perish him. Supposed to avoid that. Uh oh, been slow. I must not perish. There we go. We got it. And I think we got a whole load of loot there as well. Wow. Look at the amount of loot. Uh, it's loot for days. Right, well, we want this. And we want that. No. Can I pick up all these? Might as well. Okay. Well done, hero. We have it. We have the Drevna Kutia. Hail to the king. Glory to the gods. Nice. Battle complete. Turning to the Pantheon. So we're getting stronger. And now that should be the crafting bench unlock. Even though I knew it was an Ignan, actually being near the Kutia. I've been hearing tales of it since I was a little girl. Never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. The Drevna Kutia was meant to aid humanity in desperate times. And times don't get more desperate than this. Place it on the pedestal, hero, 
and let's put it to good use. Yay. Crafting. Start a piece of gear, place a recipe into the machine by right clicking or dragging into the central slot. Next place a base item of appropriate level and type into the central slot. If you're happy with a preview crafted item, hit the craft button. So you can make this. Now you drag uh to use it in crafting. This with this stone cleaver of grinding. Is this in my inventory? Or is these... I don't actually... Let's put this in. Uh... How have any of that? Just hit that. See what happens. I don't actually know what happened there. Insert a recipe or crafting. Recipe. Okay. Alright, we have construction to construction, right? Drag or right click a base item to use crafting. This and that. Oh wait, do I need this so because I don't have the materials, I can't craft it. Ah, there we go, craft. Okay, so now we get the flaring stone axe of crippling. Okay. Right. So is that in our inventory now? Yeah. Nice. So we we crafted the blue. Okay. All right. Uh, steel ward. That's much better. Let's do. Better. Armor reading. I think we want to build like an armor build. Okay. Sell the rest of the stuff then? Okay, we have a stash. Okay, so where is the shop? Oh, wait, we have to go back to. Ogna. The Ogna. legends were true. It works perfectly. Don't forget to come back here often and improve every piece of your gear if you want to stay mightier than your enemies. Okay. So, there we have it. That's the first uh, little bit of the act. Uh, I'm going to be playing this on the live stream. Which uh, you can find at twitch.tv forward slash last ninja. So, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, and uh, I'll catch you all next time.